What's up guys, I'm Scott Goshorn and this is another episode of Around the Corner. All right, so I'm here at a Giddy Art Gallery. A Giddy Seahawk is a wonderful artist. You know, I stumbled upon this. I, I do a lot of walks in the area because I live in the area. She is a phenomenal artist for one, but she does amazing classes here. Um, so I've invited some friends today. Uh, we're gonna have a uh, wine and uh, art painting class. It's gonna be great, so very excited to do it. Uh, so let's go meet Giddy Seahawk at Giddy Art Gallery. All right, I'm here with the amazing Giddy. How are you doing today? Good, thank Good. you so much. All right, um, so, you know, I stumbled, I, I walk by this place all the time and, you know, I, I peek in and sometimes I see groups of people. So, you know, I, I assume you did classes. So I reached out and had an amazing birthday experience here probably about six months ago or so. A lot of great time and you're just an amazing artist. So I wanted to showcase you. So let's talk about it. So let's talk about your journey. Um, you know, when did you get into art? And just kind of give me, you know, quick about your journey, about your, uh, your painting. My name is Kitty Zihak. I started painting uh, 31 years ago. 31? Yes. Okay. Actually, I started with my daughter. When my daughter was three, we started together. 12 years ago, I came to United States, and now I have this place for 10 years. My initial technique was realism, and uh, inspiration came to me by viewing professional painters in nature. Six years ago, my technique changed and entered to a new era. These six paintings I created during these six years. I tried to finish these four pieces during Corona. Excellent, so yeah. we'll, we'll definitely walk and talk about some of these, but what drew you into art? So what, what made you want to open a gallery here? What, what, was, uh, what was your purpose, for, for teaching others or what? Teaching others, I love teaching. You're, you're pretty good, you, can, you rule the good, yeah, yeah. No, you, I <laughs> teach by my heart, yeah. Excellent. So you, you wanted to open a gallery here and you just want to kind of, so because you have very talented students. You teach a lot of, probably all of all ages, but you have a lot of younger students too. They're very, I've seen some of the artwork you showed me. I got some talented, talented students you work with. Yeah. If you go and check my Instagram, Gitty Art, you can have a look there and see all my adult students and uh, kids. They are very talented and I teach them by my heart. So what, what uh, classes do you teach here? Uh, we uh, obviously walked in, which is very cool. We got like the ghost thing yeah. going back on there. They like, work in the old, uh, work in the old yeah. pottery, yeah. which is pretty cool. Um, what else do you teach? We have painting, pottery, sculpting, and calligraphy. Sculpting, huh? Yeah, sculpting, yeah. You know, so like, if I want to be like an Adonis. Like, like this, you... like this. See, I made this one, this sculpture. Oh, yeah. wow. That's, uh, that's a real deal. And also calligraphy, huh? Calligraphy, How'd but you... Persian calligraphy, not English calligraphy. Yeah. Yeah, for... What I want to do is actually had to <laughs> surprise everybody's coming today. I was going to have you paint like me as if I was in like Renaissance time with like a nice, you know, so pretty much with some lettuce going on like that. And like, you know, so we're going to work on that. But this, I mean, what's, what I like about your artwork is like the oil paintings, it really does feel like you're looking at something um, history of this. It looks like it's dated, you know, it's beautiful. So let's talk about this. Who's this guy? Uh, this is Jean Brandt. When Very I cool. was working, uh, I was in Iran when I was work on this. And this is by, uh, the technique is glazing, layers by layers. A lot of layers, it goes top of this. Do you know Mona Lisa is almost 32 layers wow. and yeah. it takes 16 years to finish, but it's not finished not at finished. the end, not finished. And this is kind of glazing technique and is very, very hard. And it needs a lot of patience, yeah. It's just cool, you know, I lived in Italy for a while, so I got to just tour amazing museums, see a lot of great stuff. But I mean, just looking at you, when I look at your oil painting work, it just kind of just brings me back there because it just does feel like, oh, it feels you. like there's history and age to it. You said you initially start off with like more in realism, so, mm -hmm. um, but you've transitioned, which we'll get into. But, so, but let's talk about this painting. You said you painted this when you first came to the United States? Yeah, when I came to the United States, I did this one and I love it because of the colors. It's very colorful and happy. It is happy. And, you can just yeah. uh, you know, and she just kind of pops off the pops yeah. off the painting and almost and like, gets a lot of attention when I put it uh, in front of the window you, uh, over there. Find, here. Uh, where did you a use? picture, yeah. A you some, and it drew you to it and that you just wanted to paint it. Yeah. That's yes. super cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I mean, you have amazing work, and I know you want to talk about what you're doing today, which is awesome. So, but this, like, it's just phenomenal, and just, uh, it just really feels like you, you feel the history and the, like the love's put into it. So, I really love it. 
So you've transitioned six paintings over the last six years. Uh, so let's talk about what you've transitioned into. I mean, you're, you've got amazing work and uh, you've kind of, you've been, you know, you've got some descriptions on them. So let's talk about your journey to your new style of painting. Six years ago, I started poem classes. And these poem classes, uh, in, my inspiration came from there. And this is, uh, the name of painting is A Ship Without an Anchor came from that poem, I had it in that class. And I create this uh, two pieces painting. One of that is under is, I did calligraphy, the poem. Oh wow. Under that is when we were in heaven. And when we had a bite from an apple, <laughs> we excited from heaven to earth. Very cool. So you have the, the, the angel here and this anchor too. What, what yeah, are they anchored? With the, with the, any child, when they born with the umbilical cord, they connected to a religion. It doesn't matter where they, where they born. Here is going to be Catholic, Jewish, Muslim, and all the religions. And this uh, traffic lights is the do this and don't do that. Uh, yeah. This one is game of the world. Inspiration came from Plato's cave to me. And where we were in the cave, toilet paper, corona, stocks <laughs> and everything. And during this, Putin was behind the curtain. Ah, now he's now When he's in... I started this painting, it was, I finished it, it was two, 2021. It wasn't war at that time. The painting is We the People, which was inspired by the U.S. Constitution. The idea came to me and I got two the four pieces of canvases and I did this four races and in the world. They want to be together with this bandage, they stick together. Put it, put it yeah. together, just yeah. buy a bandaid. Yeah, but the politic. Yes, it's true. Yeah. It's true. This is comfort zone. <laughs> In the womb, is huh? It's inspired, yeah, by a poem again. The poem has a silk on that poem, and I uh, put the baby inside the womb. It's very relaxing area, and the world has a spider net around. When you come to this world, you're, catch in, the, you're you, in the web. Catch you're in the web. You, yeah, <laughs> and you have this. You've got the comfort, then you're out, then you're caught in the web. Things, yeah, I love it's it. broken. Uh, this one to me is uh, very fascinating. You've got uh, this beautiful, majestic, strong looking horse with a visa. It doesn't have a black card around it, so he must be, you know, he just got a lower credit history maybe, you know, he just got, you know. <laughs> but he's got pulling this amazing wheel. So what inspired you on this? Black card, he's, he'd be, he's, a, he's a big horse, right? He'd yeah, be a very big horse. <laughs> so let's talk about this. This one, uh, the wheel is economic of United States and we are the horses. If you have a heavier necklaces like this. If you've got a black card, you've got like, you've got like yeah. big chains, like those yeah, weight you chains, you know. Run <laughs> faster and faster. And when you run faster, the economy turn faster and faster. That's why United States is United States. And it's called States. modern slavery, so which also is like, you know, so this kind of symbolizes debt, right? So the whole key is like, yes. we all get in this bad debt, so we're all just in this rat race trying to get out of debt and try to keep up, right? Before, the, the, uh, they didn't give money to the slaves, but now they are giving you a lot. Yeah, yeah, giving you a lot of credit so you yeah, have to work off. Yeah, buy it, everything you want. <laughs> yeah, and at the, end the at, the, at the end of the month, you have to run faster. Well, it's a very powerful piece. You come in here and just kind of like, you just like, it just makes you stop and want to look at it, which is great. Yeah, this is the last piece and my collection. The name of my collection is Be the Truth. And this one is orchestra. Orchestra, orchestra is the last piece of this collection. Here you can see how the media is conducting the world. Yes. Well, I see a consistent theme, which is, uh, seems like it's kind of moving and capturing. You've done amazing artwork. Uh, your art's always beautiful. So, so today, guys, we have, we're going to have people coming in. I've got some friends coming in, and we're going to do an art class. Uh, we're all going to paint right. the same picture. They're gonna, they call me uh, Scotty Van Gogh. So, uh, <laughs> so no, we're gonna, it's gonna be great. So, we're very excited to have this. Uh, it's a little Thank wine, a little you. painting. So, uh, you know, people will be here any minute to come in and we'll get rolling. What's up? So, you know, I, what I'm doing here is supporting uh, entrepreneurs. So, good, a friend of mine uh, just started this company, uh, the Board and the Brie. 
So I figured why not, it's our first time using them and uh, that's what I got that got it delivered to me. I mean, it's pretty bananas and then uh, I haven't even looked in here yet so let's see what we got. Ooh, that looks insane. I mean, this is uh, it's pretty legit. So uh, very excited. Uh, thank you, Grace. Board in the Brie, we'll rock this out. It was fun, but this is uh, episode GDR Gallery, Scott Goshorn, around the corner, we are out. Thank you so much. Thank you.